Hello everybody, Marcel Harding here, and welcome to my channel, Marcel Harding Art. Today I thought I'd give you, show you different techniques of using a fan brush. A fan brush is basically a funny looking brush, it's sprayed out like that. I've only got two sizes for fan brush, but you can have as much as you like. I have a bigger one here, and a smaller one here. Fan brushes are really cool, I'm going to show you lots of different ways I use a fan brush. They're uh, misunderstood fan brushes, and a lot of people don't recognise them, but I caught on to the fan brush from watching Bob Ross videos. Um, Bob Ross was an American painting hero, and uh, he was a legend. And he used to he used to love the fan brush. It was his favorite brush, and uh, it's got to be one of my favorite brushes too. So what I'm, what I'm saying is that when you use a fan brush, it's best not to to have it just like like I'm doing here. And, um, you, you, you know, it's really good for grass. I like, you know, the best way to paint grass. This is a good way to paint grass. It's not really effective. The best way to do it is to have a, have a already have a back, back, a dark background like this. I've already got a dark background. And I used to, this is a great technique for grass or, on a landscape. Great, great uh, for, for doing grass on a landscape. It just it gives a really good effect of it. This is probably a better way to do it. Do a, a, a previous one like this on the background, let it dry and then go ahead and it's a really good for that type of thing. Um, also if you want to, it's good for, for if you want to do a tree, for example under a tree, this is part of a tree, let's assume. Good thing to put it, put it under a tree like that for example. It has a really good effect on, on, the, on the grass effect on that. I mean, it has really good um, ways of doing things. Um, for example, uh, if you want to, they're good for tr making trees as well. I mean, evergreen trees are a good example of this, of this type of of this type of uh, thing. You can. They're a really good example of, uh, see, you could, they're good for trees too. And then you can come over lighter. And at the end, you can, at the bottom of the tree, you can do all that. And they're really good effect. Fan brushes are fantastic. I love fan brushes. They're a really good method to use. There's so much good uses of a fan brush. Um, an overhanging tree, for example, you can have an overhanging trees. They're good for for doing an overhanging tree like this here. They're good for painting overhanging trees. They've got, they've got so much good uses to them, these fan brushes. And they're, so, they're really good for mixing and everything. I, I really like fan brushes. They're really good. I use a lot of variety on the fan brushes. They have such good techniques on them. I mean, there's so much you can do with a fan brush. It's amazing. Um, I just love these fan brushes. There's so many different varieties you can do with a fan brush. It takes a little while, but you can get used to the the technique. Um, they're really good for things like a fence post, as example. If you want to uh, paint around the fence posts, 
I like fan brushes. They're really good use of, of the fan brush. So um, there's some great methods for using a fan brush. I hope you give it a go. And um, it's good for grass and things like that, long grass. Awesome. So uh, I hope you liked the video. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. We'll catch you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.